Welcome to AA Running. In today's video, I'll be walking you through my second week of training for the Sub 18 5K. It's Monday, June 20th, and today is the first day of my second week of training for the Sub 18 5K. So today's run, I'll put the data on the screen, was a 7.1 mile run, uh, 817 pace. Heart rate was uh, 148, which is quite a bit higher than it normally is for this type of run. Um, but I got a really late start in the morning. I didn't start running until almost 9 a.m. and it was already um, already a little hot outside, and so I think. You know, the heat really affected me today. Uh, so for the run, I did a two mile warm up and then three times one mile easy intervals, kind of like a slow tempo, like a slow tempo pace. I ran uh, 704, 701, 703, with a half mile uh, full recovery jog in between. And uh, yeah, so I just did a little bit more than last week. So last week when I did this workout, I did uh, two times one mile. And so now I'm just gradually increasing uh, both my total mileage, my total mileage, and also my volume of uh, quality running. So, yeah, a uh, pretty good run uh, despite the heat. One bad thing is that my, my hamstring has been a little irritated. Um, I, ha I had a, s a small hamstring, uh, hamstring uh, strain about five weeks ago, and I thought it was fully recovered. I thought it was fully recovered, but um, just last week, I started doing some eccentric hamstring curls to strengthen it on, with a yoga ball. I did that on Wednesday and then also again on Saturday, uh, three sets of 12. And yeah, ever since I did that on Saturday, it's just felt a little weak and tight uh, on yesterday's run and on today's run. I don't think it's that big of a deal, um, but I do have to you know, cut out the, those hamstring curls. I'm just not ready for them, I guess. You know, it's a good, you know, increasing the strength of your hamstring muscle is a good thing for preventing uh, further injuries, but you don't want to do it too soon. I think I just started doing them a little bit too soon, even though, you know, it's been about a month since the injury. Um, anyway, I think, I think I can keep this at bay and continue to train, but I'll just have to closely monitor it over the next few days. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Hi there, it's Tuesday, June 21st. Today's run was a six mile run, 820 pace. Heart rate was 137, I'll put the stats on the screen now. So yeah, I warmed up for three kilometers and then I did uh, three times 1K in uh, 415, 412, 412 with a 800 meter full recovery jog in between. So this again is, an, is a workout inspired by the easy interval method. Um, so the basic idea is that I'm doing these 1K repeats right around marathon pace. And so this is, you know, a pretty easy aerobic workout, you know, basically an aerobic interval session. And yeah, I felt pretty good today. Um, it was a lot cooler than yesterday. My hamstring was feeling a lot better and um, really pleased with the progress so far. When I did these 1Ks last week, my heart rate was um, around 160 and then today they were it was around uh, 153 so that's a, a nice decrease in the heart rate at the same pace so uh, things are coming along nicely talk to you later hi everyone it's Wednesday now just giving you a quick quick recap on the run today so this morning's run was another six mile run just like yesterday 816 pace I'll put the stats on the screen here and I did the same thing, so I warmed up for three kilometers and then did uh, three times 1K in 4.14, 4.11, 4 Yeah, and it felt really smooth today, really good. So around that 6.45 pace, uh, somewhere, between, somewhere between my uh, LT1 and my LT2, um, just working on my threshold. 
and uh, my hamstring's been feeling a lot better. So yeah, it's, it was a really good, uh, really good run, really good, really good day. I'll be in the weight room later today. Talk to you later. Hi everyone, it's Thursday now. So this morning was a recovery run, a true recovery run. So um, I did six and a half miles. I'll put the data on the screen here. And it was a run walk. So I ran 10 minutes, walked one minute and repeated. The, the run portions were about 8.30 in the 8.30s. Um, so yeah, really relaxed, chill, nice run. I'm out here at the track right now and Amanda's gonna be doing a workout. And the workout is kind of inspired by the Ingerbritsons. So Jakob Ingerbritsson is a uh, Olympic uh, gold medalist in the 1500 meters. And, and so they do a lot of threshold workouts. And this one is kind of based off of their 400 workout. And so what they do is 20 or 25 times 400. And they'll, they'll run anywhere between 5K pace and threshold pace. So, a little, so typically faster than threshold and they'll take really short recoveries, so 30 or 45 second recoveries. Now, the Ingerbritsons also do um, a lot of mileage, and so they'll run, I see reports of about 180 kilometers per week, so that's like 100, 110 miles a week, so that's a lot of mileage. Amanda's only doing 35 miles a week right now, so 20 or 25 400s would be too much. And so she's gonna do just 10 by 400 with 45 second rest, uh, starting off around threshold pace and working down hopefully towards 5K pace. Now she just ran a 5K last week, so we know that her threat, that her, um, we know that her 5K pace is around 89 uh, per 400, and we can estimate that her threshold is around 96 per 400. So for today. This is the first time she's done this type of workout this season. So we're hoping for those 10 400s to be anywhere between 96 and 91. So basically get down towards 10K pace or maybe 8K pace, but not all the way down to 5K pace, at least for today. All right, I'll get some footage for you of this workout. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
How was the workout, Amanda? I thought the workout was great. It was kind of toasty today, 80 something degrees, sunny. Uh, I felt like I could do 10 more, so I felt really good. Hi everyone, it's Saturday now. Yesterday was another day off of training, just a one mile recovery run to keep my running streak alive. And then today I just finished my run, did five times 400, so I warmed up for two miles and then, did, and then I did five times 400 around 10K pace, so two more than last week, so just kind of building up the volume a little bit. Um, they were all between 89 and 91, I'll put the splits on the screen. Felt pretty good, my hamstring is is getting better. It felt a little tight today, but it was kind of cold, you know, in the 50s, so I think it's gonna be okay. All right, talk to you later. Hi everyone, it's Sunday now. Today's run was a uh, 6.4 mile easy run. I'll put the stats on the screen. It was another uh, run walk, so it's like a recovery run. 10 minutes run, one minute, one minute walk, repeat. Um, when I was running, I was running about 8.30 pace. So, felt really good today actually. It was nice and cool in the mid 50s. Yeah, and so this was um, this was a really good second week of training. Uh, I'll put the stats on the week uh, on the screen now for you. Uh, 38 and a half miles, about 62 kilometers. Average pace was about 831 per mile. Um, my average heart rate for the week was about 137. Last week my heart rate was only uh, 136. Um, but this week I ran more miles and at a faster pace and basically at the same heart rate. So fitness is definitely starting to come back. Um, yeah, really excited about it. Next week, um, I'll plan to keep building. And so I want to build up towards uh, 55 miles per week. Um, but, you know, it just building a little bit more each, each and every week. So last week was 33 miles, this week is 38 miles. Next week will be over 40 for sure. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about where I'm at. If you're still watching this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps the channel um, grow, um, and I really appreciate it. Run energized.